A Multnomah County jury is set to decide a landmark case over who's responsible for Oregon wildfires that sparked around Labor Day in 2020. The plaintiffs include 17 people who lost their homes or property in the fires, and more people could get paid as part of the class action lawsuit. Pacific Corp chose not to protect Oregonians that night. It did not live up to its obligation. It didn't take any action to prevent a fire. And now, in this case, Pacific Corp should bear the consequences. The case hinges on whether Pacific Power and its parent company, Pacific Core, is liable for starting wildfires after choosing not to turn off the power on its lines and equipment in areas that were at serious risk for fire during the strong windstorm. The company's attorneys say it's more complicated than that. The possibility of an ignition must be weighed against the dangers of de-energization when whole cities or towns can be blanketed in darkness just when they need power the most. Both PGE and Consumers Power decided to turn off power in parts of their service areas around Labor Day, but Pacific Power attorneys say that was a new practice at the time and unique to certain areas and forecast data. No Oregon utility had ever ever initiated a public safety power shutoff prior to Labor Day 2020, ever in the history of the state. It is truly a measure of last resort. In opening arguments, the plaintiff's attorneys showed photos of fire damage and a clip of a woman calling in a fire in the Santiam Canyon area. Gates, your firefighters at the school and Gates and the fire department are in trouble. There's flames everywhere. The plaintiffs are seeking $1.6 billion. Their attorneys said Pacific Power didn't use a system that turns off powers when a tree falls in a line. It knows that it can prevent a fire. It's an important concept to power companies. No consideration. So its power lines continue to re-energize throughout the night when trees hit lines and spark fires. They re-energize. The power goes back on. The defense pushed back, saying it's complex and climate change played a major role. The truth <coughs> is that no one can ever predict precisely where a fire is going to start. And that was especially true on Labor Day 2020. Right now, the jury is hearing testimony about the severity of the storms around that Labor Day 2020 period to help establish some of the conditions that may have helped spark these fires. This trial is expected to be a long one. The judge said earlier today that Jurors may not even get to the deliberation stage until about seven weeks from now. Brittany? Very long trial. All right. Thanks so much, Evan.